Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Objects in Space. You might be wondering why I'm not so upbeat as usual. And the answer is I've I'm probably doing this mission the fifth or sixth time now off camera and now I've decided to record it. <sighs> what a bastard this mission is. Uh, it's not so much the fact that the game you know, led us on the fact that blue um, nebula are safe, which they are, but this system, this navigation system, or this helm that we have, apparently only shows colors in blue. So that's nice, you know, I, I'd be fine with that, but just at least tell me. So anyway, I know to avoid most of the nebula. Unfortunately, in this third system, it's almost impossible to... Uh, avoid all of them but i do manage now to get to i think one of the last beacons without taking any damage uh, i took a little bit of damage from a torpedo explosion that was close to me i used a couple of countermeasures and that was in the first system this is already the third system now <sighs> but the biggest problem is this game loves to crash in this system when i get to one of the last beacons it loves to crash it's crashed three times now and I'm, I'm, I'm more tense about the game crashing now than I am about the actual gameplay. You know, I, I, I'm not even running uh, stealthy here. Well, first of all, because there's zero solar radiation here. And uh, secondly, because it, it's just, it's almost fruitless. And all of this for about 3,000 credits. What a waste. Uh, I'm gonna try going through here. I, I have a pretty much uh, planned route now that I know is relatively safe. And as soon as we get closer to the star, I'm gonna try to uh, go stealthy because there are some pirates around, I believe. There we go. Solar radiation is popping up now. There's the next beacon, I believe. This is the one. But it's just it's just heartbreaking. I've I've gotten there so many times. At one time, I even tapped out to start my recording software, and the game decided to crash. It's just, it's just so unstable. Really pisses me off. And that wouldn't piss me off that much. I understand. Bugs happen. You know, it, it gets patched and so on and so forth. But the fact that this uses a checkpoint system where it only saves when you're docked on a space station is horrendous in this case. See, I'm in a discromatic. But what I found out apparently, at least from my experience so far. Oh, good. There's a... There's a ship there. If, um... Let's go silent, actually. If... If the dischromatic thing doesn't rise above 50%, you're relatively safe. But then again, I think even if it doesn't rise about 50% density, uh, you... Let's, let's do this for now. The longer you stay in that nebula, the more of a chance you have of taking damage. But like I said, I don't know. That's just my trial and error so far. I've been avoiding the nebula, but in this sector it's almost impossible not to cross them at some points. So now it takes forever to uh, burn, but you can see that my emissions don't really go up that high now. Uh, I'm not going to read you any of these emails, I just blitz through them now because we've already read them. Uh, like I, like I thought, the you cannot just meta game and go to the position where you know that the last uh, beacon is, because you have to download the data from each of them and read them in order for the next one to appear. It's scripted that way, and I understand it. You know, it the game doesn't want you to cheat, but bloody hell, give me an option to save manually because this is insane. I don't know what I'm going to do if this game crashes again now. I think I'm gonna... <sighs> Something's gonna be flying out the window. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, so th thankfully this is just a nebula, not a dischromatic one. Um, but it's just... I, I will seriously have to think about whether I want to even do this mission or just say, you know, screw it. Go to hell with that crap. I know it's some kind of a story-ish mission, but I just can't. This is ridiculous. Please don't be a ship. I think it would, if it was that close, it would be a ship already. Um, 
It's just insane. Just give me a manual save option. Ever since... Oh, good. It is a ship. Ever since games have started... Well, some games have started using the stupid console checkpoint system. Um, I don't like the way that ship turned. Hmm. Oh, good. This chromatic nebula. Target too close for autopilot. Oh, good. They're going for us. Brilliant. That's brilliant. I think that might be a pirate. They're not saying drop your cargo, though. Yeah, threatening vessel, I know, but it doesn't say pirate activity. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Ah, brilliant. <sighs> right. So if it's not one thing, it's another. You know? If the game doesn't crash, we get pirates. That's just, just absolutely brilliant. I know. Now we've got a torpedo incoming. Download this so we can get to the next one. <sighs> this is just insane. So now the torpedo is going to get a lock on us. Come on. There's the next one. God, it's getting bloody close. I'm gonna drop this. I don't want the explosion too close to us. There we go. Okay, hopefully it's gonna get attracted to the countermeasure. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. But, of course, we get damage. Oh, good. Light damage on the bow and the aft. Or, uh, and the port wing, I mean. Hopefully these guys have given up, but I kind of doubt they have. I'm going to do this for now. Turn around so I have them in my sensor range. I don't know if they'll try to uh, fire more torpedoes. Usually... In my experience so far, the pirates fire one or two torpedoes and then just disengage. And in this case, I think they've disengaged. No, it still cannot do time compression. I don't like the fact that they're following me here. But yeah, with the amount of time used on this mission, this is by far the longest mission so far, I think, in the game. And the amount of crashes and the low amount of money we're going to get from this, I just don't see how it's worth it at all. So if it crashes again, I'm going to say... I don't even know if you're going to see this video, which is ridiculous that I'm talking about it now. Okay. That guy has turned around, which means I could burn safely, but... Blah, 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 SOS. I know. Well, we're going to drift past the star over here. Then we're going to go through here, because there's going to be some asteroids, I believe, and nebula over here. We're going to slip through here. Uh, look at that solar 100 how much are we making 3.61 kilowatts per what per hour probably not probably per second okay so now I'm gonna try going through here That guy still turned away from us, which is pretty good. There we go. Trying to avoid the uh, asteroids. No idea if we're too close to this star or not. I've n have I always gone like this? I think I have. Or oh shit! The whole temperature is going up like crazy. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Okay, this should be the maximum now. Yeah. A hundred. Ooh. Okay, th this should be fine. There we go. <sighs> Man, that started going up like crazy. There's the next beacon. We're gonna go... Th we're gonna try to slip through this. 
I cannot remember if there's this chromatic stuff in here. I think there is at some point. I hate this mission so much. It would be so fun. But due to the crashes and the length it takes and the really crappy payout, I really hope that they are going to pay us more actually in the end. But I have a feeling they won't. And if this crashes, I am going to blow my top. Blah, blah, blah. We've already read all that. Come on, just please don't crash. Okay, we're away from that stupid pirate. And, you know, just remember, we're also going to have to repair, repair our ship and replenish th at least three of the countermeasures so far. It's just... It's just... I don't understand what the, ve the developer was thinking here. Like I said, I hope that the guy will actually pay us more. And I did look a little bit up about the mission. Uh, but not much. I, d I don't know what happens when you, you know, get to the ship. Let's see. Oh, it's fine. Okay, following the ship. Okay, so now I have to keep going through here. I think this will have some dischromatic stuff. But see, the problem is, I understand that this doesn't show anything but blue color, okay? At least on the map. You know, we've got greens and all the other colors here. There's the next one, I believe. Um, but just give me a little visual indication of some sort. Like stripes or something of those dangerous nebulas. It just doesn't make any sense. There's a beacon. There's a ship, I guess. That definitely looks like a ship. Alright, what do we get? More of the oh no. I got thrusters up and running, blah blah blah. That's definitely a ship. Must be. Oh, there's the next beacon already. I could try going through this, but yeah. It was a big nebula, I don't want to uh, risk it. There we go. Come on, please. This is this is the place where it started crashing. Please don't crash. <sighs> I'm so bloody nervous now. I'm gonna try to do as little as possible, because usually it crashed when I exited the... Uh, the mail screen, I mean the, the comms screen, I believe. Not the comms screen, though. Because this is the comms screen. Or that's the contact screen and the comms, I don't know. Either way. Uh, this will have some dischromatic stuff. But I think this sliver should be okay. There we go. Density. I think it's going to get to around 30%. And then start falling. But see, there is absolutely zero difference between this and these nebula. These even have dots, some of them. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, 50%. Okay, come on. Start falling. We're gonna take damage. Phew. I don't like that one bit. Okay, where's the next beacon? Come on. Yeah, that started falling. That's good. I really don't like those nebula. Oh, nebulae. There's the next one. Is that... Was that moving? I don't know. Yeah, that, that's going to be the next one. There we go. Now, this is the one where I did download the data, but as soon as I started reading it, it crashed. So, oh my god. Please don't crash. How much energy do we have? Ooh. Yeah, we will have to get more energy now. Oh no, this is not the one yet. This is not the one yet. And I do need my... Uh oh, because I didn't cancel a lot of pilot and it wanted to stop the ship. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna have to go through this. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> this mission is long as a goddamn snake. Now, th here's the really creepy part. If it doesn't crash and we do get to the ship, or whatever's left of it, who says that the game will not crash when we try to jump back to a station and save? Oh my god. Just don't give me some dischromatic stuff now. Come on, just give me the next big- just give me the ship! Enough with this mission already. I hate this mission. What a pile of junk. Oh 
Good. Oh yeah, it's a dischromatic one. Okay. Even though I don't know how, it doesn't show that there's any nebula here. Come on. Let's go through here. That must be a ship. We are draining power here, but... I don't want that... Whatever that ship is to find us. Come on, give me the next beacon. Okay. What's that going to be? Probably a... Oh, good. Yet another bloody beacon. Uh, this is the one where it crashed. Just some... Yes, good, great. Please don't crash. We're going straight... Pretty much on an intercept course. Probably not intentional, but... Okay. Let's see. Oh fuck, oh fuck, I've done something wrong. Oh god. I was just so hungry and mad, so fucking mad. I just saw his sniveling little face and wanted to smash it. I just fell upon him like an animal. I just ripped at him, tried to choke or tear him. And I saw his eyes. He was so afraid, so very afraid, but I wouldn't stop. I grabbed his head and started to smash it against the floor. His gag came off and he was screaming for his mama like a child, screaming for her to help him. He kept looking into my eyes like he wanted to offer me something, but I just kept ramming him down. It was, it was screaming though, the blood in his mouth that was, I was killing him and that he didn't want to die. And for me to help him and so, so many things, it just made me crash his head down into the steel harder to shut his fucking wailing up. He was just making so much noise I couldn't think. So much noise, it just wouldn't stop. I, I did, it did eventually. He went limp in my arms with that little whine, like from a dog or something. He wasn't afraid anymore. I started to lick at the soft part of his skull. It was so warm and bitter. I was in the kitchen, but I didn't wait. I've taken more from him now. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that poor kid, he never did anything to anyone. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Ugh, so cannibalism. That's great. I hope that guy's um, not alive anymore, because that's going to be yum. Good, that's going to be a pirate. I'm almost considering jettisoning my cargo if they do. What do we have? Four scrap and 17 oxygen. It's really not much, is it? It's about, what, one countermeasure worth? Just please don't crash and give me that bloody ship already. We've gone... Oh, uh, by the way, I also tell um, I also jumped over here in this sector. Can you see my mouse in this sector of the quadrant? And you have to actually be over here to start the the beacons in this quadrant. I don't know why, but it was just another kick in the bloody face from this game. I love this game, I really do. But this mission is just horrendous. <sighs> Come on, these guys are gonna see me. I'm gonna jettison all here, I don't care. Ugh. Great. <laughs> Lovely. We're out of power, so now those guys will definitely see us. If they are pirates, they're going to go blah blah blah. How do I... oh. Scrap. I'm gonna give him some scrap, hopefully that uh, will be okay. The most annoying thing is you cannot time compress when they're close. I understand they could be pirates, but it's also possible they're not pirates. Is this a ship? Please don't give me another beacon. Just please don't give me another bloody beacon. Oh, good. It is pirates. Here. Did that... Was that a wise choice? Excellent. Okay. So hopefully they're not going to shoot at us now. If they are, I'm going to go to my countermeasures. I have five left. So you go and dock with a stupid scrap there and enjoy... Oh! <gasps> there it is, derelict. There it is. Finally. Please don't crash. Please don't shoot at me. Yeah, they're going for the cargo. I guess when they figure out that uh, it's only some scrap, they're going to get pissed off. Come on. Yeah, that scrap is worth, like, I don't know, four credits. I couldn't get rid of it, so I suppose this is as good a choice as any. Actually, this makes me think. If I'm going somewhere I know will be, you know, will know it will be dangerous, I could 
You did not drop all your cargo. Oh, you s stupid son of a... <laughs> Bastards. Screw you. I'm not giving you anything else. else. I'm gonna turn around like this. Screw you. Just please don't give me more discromatic stuff. <laughs> I like that though. You did not drop your cargo. Attention Firefly, we know you didn't drop all your cargo. Do not disobey us again. Unknown class vessel, drop your cargo now and be destroyed. Okay. Well, they're not firing yet, but they will be soon, I think. And I'm assuming they didn't just lose uh, sensor contact with us. In case they did... I'm going to do a 10%. Oh, good! Yeah, now they, now they spotted us, I think, because of the RCS. See, even though we're burning, we're still semi-stealthy. Come on. It's interesting, they're not firing... They should have been firing torpedoes at us so far, and I think... The reason they're not is because they didn't spot us yet. They might be looking for us, though. <sighs> please do not crash. I know I've said this many times now, but please do not crash. Please do not crash. And I'm losing energy, so I will have to turn on my reactor. Come on. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? Can I jump to Diwali here? Quadrant... Oh, I'm in Quadrant A. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. What? Where are you... Where are you going? What the hell? Going into the bloody asteroid field and right towards the pirates. <gasps> Wait, Quadrant D is... Where am I? Oh, I'm all the way up there. Oh, good. Oh, man, this is gonna go great. This is gonna go just great. I hate this mission so much. I hate it so much. Yeah, good. Can you go a little faster, maybe? Do I have to dock with this? What do I have to do? If they fire off torpedoes, I don't think we'll be able to detect it. Come on. Bloody derelict. What? 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 What the hell? Do I have to... Okay? Do I have to moor with the damn thing? Let's boost towards it. And as soon as we're there... Come on, full stop. Full stop! Why are you th Oh man, this- this- this is so stupid! Look at this thing! <sighs> to do everything manually. Stupid. Come on, too bloody close for autopilot. This is- Okay, this mission is really pissing me the fuck off. Are you fucking kidding me? Why are you turning the other way? Just stop the bloody burn if I say cancel. God, that pisses me off. And I have to time it. Look at this sh crap. Oh my god. And the reactor doesn't have enough bloody energy. Oh, I've overshot it again. This is lovely. Can I at least do it from here? No, I cannot. 
This mission is the goddamn limit. This mission is the goddamn limit. Yeah. Now turn around and we'll stop there. How the hell do you dock with this bloody thing? Good, I'm still not... Okay, I don't... I don't know. Is there... is there a... How do you dock with a derelict? I have no fucking clue. How do you dock with a derelict? Unknown Leander. Private space station. What? Private space station? Here? <sighs> do I just send a message or something? I found your stupid shit. Now leave me the goddamn alone. Yeah, English. What? Low power, shut up. What am I supposed to do here? This is ridiculous. So, there's the derelict. I can plot to it. Yeah, too close for autopilot. Blah, blah, blah. There's the dock thing. It doesn't allow me to dock. It doesn't allow me to hail. Do I need to be close and then it appears? I don't... I don't know. I could just... Don't go that fast. This thing is... this... this... Let's see what happens. Let's turn around. <laughs> I cannot dock, I cannot hail. I don't know. This mission can go screw itself. Contact. Great. There's... You know what? I'll see you next time. At least you'll see what is, what's happened so far and I'll... I'll go and look up what the hell to do with this stupid mission. Thanks for watching and sorry about the rant.